Hi, my name is Donna Rubin and welcome to Mad Chat. I'm so excited because today I have my friend and yogi Eileen Kristen with me I'm to talk awesome. about our experiences on the yoga mat. First of all, thank you so much. I mean, really, it's an honor to have you to come to, to our here. studios and it's an honor to be sitting here and talking with you. So, I mean, you had such a long, you know, successful acting career. I mean, what you started in Greece on Broadway. I did Greece when I just turned 20. And that was incredibly exciting. We thought we were in a flop, and it was, it's been one of I the biggest the hits. I love that show. Just ever. Love that show. Yeah. And then I ended up on a soap opera, which I, I my, my career was going in a comedy direction. I ended up on a soap opera, but I've been very lucky between Ryan's Hope and One Life to Live and General Hospital. I've been able to do characters that are somewhat humorous. And how do you think that the yoga has helped you? Uh, you know, well, quite honestly, I'd rather be in class. <laughs> <laughs> That's the weird thing. Okay. Well, but it gives you balance, right? You it find does. That I mean, balance. I love acting, but I really yeah. love going to class. And I, I, I don't like even, I have to force myself to stay home <laughs> one day a week. Isn't that crazy? What I find interesting is that whenever I step on my yoga mat, you know, it's my own little world. It's my own little place to be. Mm -hmm. But yoga, you know, is about union. And so, like, how do we relate to everybody else in the class? It's a group energy. Exactly. What happens in a really good class is that everybody is just feeding into each other, which is really amazing. And you wouldn't even expect, like you, you would see somebody taking a class and you look at them and sometimes, you know, we always have these preconceived ideas about who somebody is mm -hmm. or what they do or what their story is. Absolutely. And you have absolutely no idea what their story and is. And you have to really give up any preconceived notions. It's a really wonderful group. So for you, you know, as an artist and a dancer, I'm sure, you know, you've been conscious of exercise your entire my, life. My entire life. Right, so why, But a know, lot of times I've been in class where I haven't felt relaxed, and for whatever reason, uh, once I start sweating, my body just completely relaxes, and I just give in to this incredible feeling. To me, it's, it's like, a, a purging, a terrific purging feeling, and I, I really like that. I like to sweat. Yeah. Does it help your acting, though? It does. It relaxes me, except uh, I told a story before about uh, going to do One Life to Live right after class and not being able to remember one line. So five hours from then, fine. But right after class, that is not the time that you want to have to remember 30 pages of dialogue. <laughs> You've been practicing now how long? Five years. It's five years five this month. Five years. Congratulations. This is my anniversary. This okay. <laughs> to say from my own personal experience, I don't think anything looks quite like this as far as um, stopping the aging process. Aging, <laughs> exactly right. Yeah, I will make that claim almost, you yeah. know, without being a, a, you know, a doctor. But people stop me on the street because I've been on television for, uh, well, I've been on television since 1975. Uh -huh. So people will stop me and they go, well, you look like a kid. You just... <laughs> Your body. It's just wonderful. But don't you sort and of I'm, feel I'm that I'm sweating now and I really feel I like feel that. You feel like being in class right now, right? <laughs> I've also seen, um, in the process of doing this for the last five years, I've seen people come in that first seemed very insecure about their body mm -hmm. and then really started to own it. Own their body type and strengthen their body type. Mm -hmm and really own themselves. And, and that's been, that's what I love watching. Well, it's sort of very in, empowering. And you know, it's not easy to look at yourself in the mirror it's for not. 90 minutes, right? And you have to accept yourself. That's what's so unbelievable, mm -hmm. right? And you don't really have much choice. It's like you're there in the mirror. Right. You're either gonna look at yourself and say, hey, I look great, or hey, I don't look great. And I know I struggle every day. Oh. And at the beginning of the class, I'm looking at myself and I'm thinking, uh-uh. But then by the end of the class, at least I feel somewhat better. And I, I do feel better about my body. Mm -hmm. and you're, so you're specifically oh, yeah. seeing it. Like, oh, yeah. You know, no, I have a, you know, Oh, it's so funny because I'm, I'm tiny and petite and everything, but I have a very wide rib cage. But yet, by the end of class, it doesn't seem as wide. And then I think, well, maybe I'm just hallucinating that it's that wide. But I just own it. You know, it's like I just want to be the best that I can be. I don't want to be the best that someone else is. And I think if people use this class in the way that they, that they just say, I am the best 
that I can that I can be. Because people spend so much time thinking so you know negatively all the yeah. time, and if they could just start with themselves, right? And, you know, really, that's what yoga is all about. You know, yoga with yourself, yoga with the world, yoga. You know, it, it extends so far beyond. But it mm -hmm. starts with yourself. So mm -hmm. if you can't accept yourself, how are you going to accept you exactly. know the next person? What exactly. are you going to do? You know? But I've seen that more and more with with. You know, and there are a lot of people that have been coming a long time, and maybe they leave for a while, but they always come back. So, Eileen, it's just been a real pleasure spending a few minutes with you, talking with you. Thank you so much for joining me today. Oh, it's a real pleasure. And I, I guess I'll see you in class. Yes, you will. Turn that heat on high. Oh, okay, I'll do it. Just, just for you. Just Thank for you. you, okay? Thank you. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste.